Hey, this is Linda Mullally Hunt. I'm taking a stab at my first vlog following uh, Mike's vlog on Monday. Now he suggested we have props and since I'm new to this I decided to get myself some props. So I went up to my teenage daughter's room and borrowed a couple. This is Walt Whitman and yes that's actually his name. And this is Jane Austen, although Jane here strikes me more of a Mark Twain sort of type. But if you were going to take your first stab at a vlog would it be so bad to have Walt Whitman and Jane Austen in your corner? So, here they are. I'm going to skip the musical aspect because I'm afraid that would go viral on the internet. You know, in a bad way. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're here to talk about positive visualizations. And, you know, I did some thinking about this in my journey. And, um, you know, I think that I've always been um, optimistic from the very beginning of, you know, my foray into this career and my attempts to get published. I've always been pretty optimistic, but I've, I've also understood that you have to have one foot planted in the, you know, somewhere over the rainbow, whipped cream with a cherry and rainbow sprinkles, and, you know, everything's going to be great and dreamy, but the other foot's got to be planted in a real practical you know, in the real practical sense, that this is a business, you have to work very hard, and, and there are a lot of things that need to happen, you know, to, to get to a certain level, I think, in, in any creative, you know, endeavor, whether it be writing, painting, illustrating, you know, sculpture, or whatever. Um, I was thinking back to the very beginning, the, one of the very first conferences I ever attended. I submitted a first page, and a lot of you know that they're submitted um, anonymously, and the editor read it out loud, um, and, you know, I'm thinking, oh, you know, my goodness, this is my big chance, you know, you know, I'm looking in my purse for a pen, you know, sure that this editor is going to leap to her feet, and who wrote this, you know, I must have this person sign on the dotted line. So when she finished reading, there was a long silence. And, you know, of course, I'm have my, having my visualizations of, you know, contracts and, you know, this is going to be great and I'm going to tell my kids and my husband, they're going to be so excited. And then she broke the silence with her words. And those words were, this is the worst, cheesiest, most horrible thing I have ever read. It's like some horrible, like, 70s throwback thing. And that is actually what she said. That's that's what she said. And, you know, not maybe not the best word choice. And um, the reason why I bring this up is, um, you know, I could have just given up. I could have just said, oh, this one editor, you know, that's what she thinks. And I could have just laid down. And I just, you know, I, I, I could have just given up. But obviously I didn't. Because my other foot was firmly planted in practicalities. And when I got back to the room and I looked at it, you know, it really was cheesy. You know, it really was horrible. I had some work to do. I was right. It was it was a picture book, and it was terrible. And if I had submitted it to Erin, I wouldn't even she, she wouldn't we wouldn't know each other. You know, it would be. Um. So I I guess, you know, you have to you have to have both sides. You really have to have the positive energy, the willing you know willingness to work you know, to pick yourself up, dust yourself off when you get, you know, disappointing news or maybe a critique you're, you know, maybe less than happy with and and move forward, you know, and and realize that if somebody gives you feedback on your writing, you know, there, there could be something to it. Um, hopefully they'll choose better words than this particular person did, but you have to have that, I think that practical side and that dreamy, positive visualization side, visualization side, you know, they need to go hand in hand. They both need to exist together. So I guess my message for you would be that um, to stay positive and visualizing positive things. I did that. I did. I did do that all the time. In fact, Aaron teases me a little bit about the whole universe thing. I'm always attributing things to the universe and stuff. She teases me a little bit about that. And I guess, you know, I, I am a believer in that side. But I'm also a believer in, you know, a believer in hard work and um, that you can visualize dreams. I think, you know, some people spend way too long 
visualizing dreams. Don't visualize them for too long, I guess would be my advice. If you've got dreams, go chase them, because dreams have to be made. So, go make your dream, whatever that is. Take care.